Hey everybody, it's Alan. Hope you're doing well. January 3rd, the birthday of Mr. Sir George Martin, obviously best known for all of his work with the Beatles. But we're going to do three songs in honor of this musical giant that he worked on, produced, or co-produced. First one we're going to do is by the band America, and we're going to do the song Tin Man. Did you know that George Martin produced that or co-produced that? I got to be honest with you. I don't think I recall ever hearing that fact. How about this one? This is going to be Robin Gibbs singing the song, Oh, Darling. Oh, oh, darling. Please believe me. Do you know how? Believe me when I tell you I'll never do you no harm. 
about a beautiful sound i will admit listening to robin sing alone sort of like listening to any of the gibbs sing alone it's like i kind of miss that harmony but that's beside the point you know this particular solo effort is really 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 beautifully put together and uh, again george martin production whether he produced it or co-produced it he's absolutely part of this wonderful track i'm sure the next song will be a little bit more in line with what you're used to hearing, although it's still not a Beatles song. Here's Jerry and the Pacemakers with I Liked It. Tittle my chin And I like the way you let me come in When your mama ain't there I like it I like it I like the words you say And all the things you do And I like the way you straighten my tie And I like the way you're winking your eye And I know I like you You know I like you I 
get more with every day And I like it always hearing you say You're liking it too You're liking it too Obviously, we closely associate particular names with particular groups. So with George Martin, we obviously associate him with the Beatles. Kind of like um, uh, Eddie Kramer, we associate him with Jimi Hendrix. But he produced other acts, Triumph for one of them. Um, and so when you go back and you start listening to some of the other artists these producers produced, you start hearing some similarities in sounds, especially when the music is produced within the same relative time period as their most well-known productions are. So when you listen to this Jerry and the Pacemakers song, it's very reminiscent to a Beatles sound. Obviously, even to the point where the lead singer has a little bit of a sonic similarity to, you know, a slightly older Paul McCartney, not the young Paul McCartney, but the older Paul McCartney. And, you know, the, the sonic character of the instruments, they have a very, very beatle sound, pre-psychedelic Beatles sounds. Um, I just, you know, I think it's fun sometimes to, to dive into, especially like a famous producer and listen to other stuff that they're not as well known for working on, but you can clearly hear their fingerprints on those artists. You know, the uh, the Robin Gibb track, you know, that was, you know, at a later point in, in the career. And so the technology, the sonic character of the recording is more advanced than what you hear on this Jerry and the Pacemakers song, which is from the 60s, again, right in the middle of the height of the Beatles, you know, recording career. And so, therefore, similarities in tones. Yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little tribute to Mr. Sir George Martin. And uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Just know that I appreciate you, and I wish you well. Take care. <laughs>